views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Super, super welcome. Welcome to the show. Wow. I am so thrilled. I'm Dr. Pat. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Today, we're introducing all of you to Kathleen Johnson, Universal Heart Radio, sensible spirituality for everyday living. But before we find out how this amazing healer, how this amazing individual went from law enforcement to Reiki master. I need to say hi to Mr. B. Hi, Pat. Hi, Benny. <laughs> why Why so mischievous with that? Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Benny. Oh. <laughs> um, you, you know, it's kind of like from law enforcement to Reiki master. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like from selling hot dogs, right? On the streets of New York City to uh, now the host of the Dr. Pat show, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It, but what if everything that I've ever done in my life, as with my very special featured uh, guest today, Kathleen Johnson, what if everything we've ever done in our life, Benny, you too, you, you too, you, you, <laughs> you, you, what if prepared you for this moment? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. So today, everybody, when you're thinking and you're thinking about your life and you're thinking, oh, that, that job I used to have or, oh, my God, that relationship. Oh, 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 my gosh. You know, the rotten apples in the grocery store. Listen, there is a journey. There is a journey. And, you know, you've heard me all share that everything that I really practice in business today I learned selling hot dogs from a hot dog cart. But how about Kathleen? How about her life? What is it about the winding road that takes you from a stellar career in law enforcement to now becoming a global, global, universal heart? This person that now shares her message, a Reiki master, teaches Uh, More than you can imagine, everything from Kundalini Reiki to certified past life regression therapist to certified crystal healer, all of the above. What is it about this pathway that you might be thinking to yourselves right now? That's them that can't be me. Today's show is to, to, to just to remind everybody that, yes, it can. Yes, it is. And yes, it will. Kathleen is going to take us along this journey to how it is her life pointed her in the direction, lessons learned, how she could rediscover herself, and now is taking her message out worldwide. Kathleen. Welcome. It's great to have you here. It's so cool, right, from uh, law enforcement. (laughs) Well, it is pretty cool, and it's funny because, um, as you know, Pat, you came up with the title for this episode, and Mm -hmm. (laughs) which at first I was thinking, what? But (laughs) when I've mentioned this to people over the past week or so, the overall response was, Wow, that is pretty cool. So good call on the title. (laughs) But it's part of the journey. I mean, you know, who would we be to our listeners, right? If we were not here talking about the fact 
that we have taken some steps in our lives, right? And have done some work overcome obstacles and now are giving back to the way we've learned. So this is is part of your journey, right? And law enforcement perhaps is a starting point for the journey. What was it about law enforcement that, you know, you said, yeah, I'm going to be that, I'm going to do that? Well, you know, growing up, I had two really strong interests that I can Mm -hmm. recall one of which was anything paranormal, spiritual, metaphysical, supernatural, all in that genre. And the other was crime. (laughs) So go figure. I would read mysteries. I would devour mysteries, uh, any kind I could get. I just found it fascinating. um, And I think it goes back to a deep, deep curiosity I I have about the human experience, all facets of it, including criminal behavior. So fast forward to the college year. I was in an undergraduate program, and my major was psychology. And at that time, it was very difficult to do much with psychology unless you went for a PhD. As far as being a therapist, a psychologist, that was pretty much the gold standard. You needed that PhD. And at that time, I really wasn't interested in doing that. I wanted to start living my life and having a career of some sort. So at that time, I had several friends who were majoring in the criminology program at my university. And I took a couple of courses, and I was hooked. I thought, wow, this really is pretty cool. I really enjoy this. So when the time came for me to either get a job somewhere after my graduation, or to continue with my education. I chose to continue with my education, receiving my master's ultimately in criminology at the same Mm -hmm. university. So that then launched me on the path to law enforcement. And if you consider the time frame, this was a time in which law enforcement was male-dominated Hugely, yeah. hugely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Female law enforcement officers, female law enforcement personnel, period, were rare. Yeah. And so when I ultimately ended up in the marketplace, so to speak, looking for work, I was very marketable. I was female. I had a master's degree in criminology. Mm-hmm. And, oh, one other thing, when I was In training for my master's, I had taken a semester off, and I went to polygraph school in New York. So I became a certified polygraphist, a lie detector. Wow. So I had that under my belt as well. And so I became very marketable in terms of a career, and that's what launched me in that direction. So it's nothing really dramatic, Pat. It was just, wow, a lifelong interest and a couple friends who were majoring in this. And I said, oh, what the heck? I need a few electives. And so it goes. And that's the way it often works out. It's just these these uh, pointers, I guess, that mm-hmm. point you in that direction. And you go, okay, I think I'll try this and see where it goes. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what you're talking about here that makes you so absolutely incredible about the work you do in the world now? Because you and I have had those pointers. The question is, are we going to follow the pointers? You know, and that's really part of this journey. You know, it is you know tapping into a level of intuition, a level of connection, right? You know, something, a level of spirit that says, Kathleen, yeah, go for it. Go for it. And you're right. You know, that we're talking about times when, you you know, you just didn't see the degree of women in the workplace at all, anywhere, but especially in law enforcement. It was almost like unheard of, wasn't it? It was. And I, I feel very blessed that I was able to have those experiences at that time because it shaped me for what Mm -hmm. was to come. And it really, it made such an impact in my life and opened me up to everything that I needed to be opened up to, to finally step into who I am. Yeah. 
Well, I, I, can I ask you, I mean, here you are, you say yes to this. Now, if you're anything like me, Kathleen, what happens with the yes is we get on a spiritual learning fast course. And what I mean by that is stuff starts happening in our lives. They really do. Yeah. I mean, like all of a sudden things happen and, oh, wait a minute, did that really happen on my job? Did that really happen in my life? Am I really getting a divorce? You know, what was it that the universe kind of had show up for you to help you along your way? Well, let's see. The universe kept me on the law enforcement path for a long time, almost two decades total. And during that time, I worked in private law enforcement, uh, doing polygraph work for private companies. I did some, I did public law enforcement, which is where I ultimately landed for a decade or more before I retired from law enforcement. And it's an interesting question you ask because even though I was almost catapulted in that direction, yeah. um, I've never, I never really felt that this was it for me. I almost always felt like a square peg in the law enforcement arena. <laughs> <laughs> I totally relate to it because, you know, when I'm thinking about this is I didn't know, though, at the time that I was a square peg. And I would venture to say that at some level you didn't know either because if you would have known, you may have started to question and second guess yourself. Um, we're, we're talking though about a, a, a success. We're talking about success, right? You know, one of the uh, folks that's on our team used to be, um, I, I don't know the right term, a uh, forensic, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, analyst, okay. meaning, sure. yeah, meaning, okay, there is some kind of crime and they show up like CSI. Oh, crime scene investigator. Crime sure. scene investigator, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And the many, many lessons of that. What is it about your journey, right? What is it about your life events that prepared you to become who you are today. We're going to take a short break, everyone, when we come back from law enforcement to Reiki master, universe, soul, heart radio, Kathleen Johnson joining me here today. You're going to hear a lot from Kathleen. And as a matter of fact, we're not just going to talk about what she does. We actually are going to give away a free distance Reiki session today from Kathleen. Why? She's the real deal. We'll be right back. Now you can be a part of one of the most powerful programs to help create a more joyful, loving, abundant, and peaceful world. Every day at 12 noon in any time zone, join millions of other people around the world to spend a few minutes in joy, love, and gratitude. Brought to you by Robert Schoenfeld, host of the Art of Powerful Living Radio. Together, we can raise the vibration of the planet. For more information, visit globalmomentofjoy.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Discover the healing medicine from the giant monkey tree frog, Cambo. Cambo practitioner Ginny Rutherford and professional psychic Todd Rolson have come together for lively discussions of alternative healing medicines from the Amazon. Ginny and Todd bring you Cambo Talk Radio. Tune in each Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific to hear from guests all over the world with real life stories and the medicinal benefits of Cambo. For more information, visit CamboKiss.com. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. 
Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune into the wisdom of your soul for guidance on living a joyful life. On Soul Wisdom Radio, Wendy will provide inspiration to raise your vibration and connect with your higher self and guides. Learn how to balance your ego and to progress spiritually on Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. Visit wendyrosewilliams.com or Transformation Talk Radio to learn more about a healing session with Wendy and her events and publications. Amber Teal, founder of The Healthy Edge, is bringing you the hit show Healthy Edge Radio, living with power, passion, and purpose. Amber provides the support and tools necessary for you to finally release the weight and emotions that are hidden beneath the weight. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information on how you can take the next step with Amber, visit GetTheHealthyEdge.com. I got a feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. That tonight's going to be a good night. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And guess what? This is Universal Heart Radio. Kathleen Johnson is the host. You are going to hear lots and lots and lots from her for about the show, Sensible Spirituality for Everyday Living. And the show is really a way to really present ideas, solutions, not just about what it means to go through the challenges in life and to heal, but what does it mean to thrive? How do you take the journey? How do you look at your life? Move beyond, as we were talking about during the break, Kathleen's going to share, mystery illness. How do you move beyond that? (laughs) Now, before we get going, I want to make sure all of you go to the website because there's so much information there. Universe Soul Heart. So it's Universe Soul, S O U L Heart.net. Or you can go to transformationtalkradio.com and click on the banner. Okay, Kathleen, listen. Here we are. You think you're at the top of your game. You and me, we're successful. We're out in the world. We got careers. We got families. We got relationships. And then, boom, stuff happens. So what is it about life, the cosmos, that decided to give you life events? Life (laughs) events. Yeah. Life events, indeed. Um, There's a saying I use, not infrequently, the universe has shaken you to awaken you. And I certainly can say that about your mystery illness. I love that. The mystery illness. Yes, uh, that is what ultimately created my reason for leaving law enforcement. I was started having odd symptoms, odd physical issues that no one could seem to define. Uh, after about two years of going to doctor after doctor after doctor, Um, many of them telling me I just needed a therapist. I was finally diagnosed with the illness in 1994. So at that point, my law enforcement career was over. I was no longer able to perform the duties of a major crimes detective because of this illness. So there I was. Okay, I am am now out of a job. I have, uh, my career is ended. Now what? And that's when it all started to fall into place, even though it seemed like a huge cosmic slap. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Mm -hmm. Woe is me. You know, we tend to sink into that when life throws us a curveball. But it ultimately turned out to be one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Mm. You know, but let's talk about the curveball. See, at the time, you know, when you look back and you and I can talk about being in the middle of the soup, right? Right. You know, you're in the middle of the soup and you can feel things boiling up Mm -hmm. and, you know, you're, you're faced with a dilemma. 
you know, and let's just talk about illness because we now know in this country in particular that chronic illness is on the rise in ways that we can't even begin to talk about. You know, every day the CDC is putting out a new statistic on something that they totally missed and now they're talking about, right? Every day there's something new. Right. What's what's not coming out is how to heal the body, right? Exactly. That's we're not we're not getting anything new about that. So here you are. What was going through your mind? It was it was terrifying. Now, on one hand, I I felt as if the ground had totally just opened up and swallowed me because everything I had done to that point was wrapped up in what I did for a living and of course my my growing family. At that time I had four sons, um but I was working full time, I was on call, I was out and about. And my life changed instantly with that diagnosis, and I mean instantly. So it was terrifying, but after I was able to catch my breath and think about it for a while and allow it to land and to really integrate, I reframed it. I shifted my perspective and said, you know, this is an opportunity for me to do something different because the light bulb was starting to go on at that point that, you know, you've always been a square peg in law enforcement. You didn't have that killer instinct. <laughs> I never did. I was never comfortable in hardcore interrogations because it just seemed so aggressive and mean-spirited, and I was so, it just didn't work for me. I, the parts of law enforcement I truly loved were the opportunities I had to work with victims of crime, witnesses who were having trouble, to talk to those who were suffering from mental illness and came in to just to have someone listen to them. Those were the types of jobs in law enforcement that I found myself gravitating to and absolutely loving. So my innate compassion, which I had tried very hard over my lifetime to pretty much wash, uh, because mm -hmm. I thought it was a sign of weakness. My innate compassion was starting to grow and flourish. And it finally dawned on me, and this was after the diagnosis and after my world had been turned upside down, that being kind, being compassionate, being gentle is truly a strength in a harsh world. And coming to that realization changed a lot for me. Because then I was able to begin to accept myself as compassionate and kind and a loving person and not feel that I was somehow lacking by being that way and recognizing that this is who I am authentically and beginning to step into my own authenticity. And that's when the path began to unfold. And it's almost as if the universe was heaving a... A sigh. Well, finally, she's getting it. Yay. So yeah. that's how it all came to pass. Yeah. And, you know, now you know. You see, you know, I had a mentor say to me once, Pat, you cannot take people to a place you haven't gone yourself. Right. And I thought, well, wait a minute. I I've pretty much done it all. I mean, homeless at 17, mother committed suicide. I mean, the whole range. But what I hadn't had is I had not been sick. I mean, a cold, a little cough, you know, things like that. Yeah, okay, I hurt myself in sports, but I had never really been sick. And I remember one day looking at Linda's dad, and I and boy, I'll tell you, I, I, I remember this like it was yesterday. And I remember looking at Linda's dad, who literally could hardly get up from a chair and and, and just looking at him and saying, come on, you can really do that. You get, I, you know, come on, you can do it. And then, boom, there I am in the same boat. And I think about the many times that I had thought about him and thinking for myself, wow, I don't understand why he can't do that, why he can't get up out of the chair, why he, why, why, why? And then I experience it and I know. And so today you now have a message in the world that is free from judgment, 
that is free from condemnation and that helps people understand they too can get through it. Right, Kathleen? Isn't that really at the bottom of the healing work you're doing and the certifications and everything you're out in the world helping people with? Really is what it's all about. I, as I was preparing for this show today, I was I was a bit nervous, I I have to admit that, a little bit nervous, wondering how I was going to be, and as I often do, uh, Reiki Reiki now is such an integral part of my life, it's not something I put on and take off, it is an integral part of my life, and so I asked Reiki to help me in the interview today, and I, I heard it very clearly, it said, you're going to be fine, because those who need to hear it will hear it, it's not about you, it's about those who are receiving the message and I calmed right down. And it was just beautiful. I felt so comforted and so loved at that moment. Yeah. And, you know, that's why, uh, for those of you listening today, um, this is not just one show with Kathleen. Um, You're going to be hearing um, a regular radio show, Universal Heart Radio with Kathleen Johnson. You're going to be able to call in. You're going to be able to get some help, all of the above. Today's show is to just let everyone know that, you know, we step up and do what we do. Because at some level, enormous compassion for the journeys you're on, whether you're healing from something physical or emotional or something else in your life, your job, your career, your relationship, your children, there is a path to wellness. And Kathleen, isn't that really what you do? You help people, you know, get on that path to wellness, right? Exactly. And it's different for every one of us. Each one of us is on our own path in this lifetime. Everybody's on their own path. I don't presume to know anyone else's path. It is not for me to know. Uh, I barely know my own sometimes, as you can probably tell from the previous conversation. But A path to wellness involves sitting down with a client or an individual face-to-face or on the phone, however it's done, really getting into the head of that person, into their spirit, their soul, what drives them, what are they really looking for in this lifetime, what makes their heart and soul sing, and conversely, what doesn't. And the path to wellness for each person is, is, is as individual as they are. So what I try to do for each person that I work with is to find their particular specific path to wellness, and it is certainly not a one-size-fits-all endeavor. It takes time, it takes work, and ultimately it is up to the person to do the heavy work, the heavy lifting, as I say. But I can certainly help, and I will give you all the tools I have at my disposal to do so because it so matters. It matters so much. Mm. Yeah. Oh, boy. We've got lots to talk about. I just want to announce for those of you today, please write down this phone number. It's our call-in number, 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. And this show isn't about just talking about wellness and healing. What Kathleen Johnson is doing, has done, is one of you will receive a free distance Reiki session. We're going to tell you about that when we come back, uh, what's involved in it, what the gift is about, why Kathleen is paying it forward. There is an answer to that. And if you're not paying something forward, stay tuned. When we come back, the mission. What is the mission? What are we willing to do to mission forward stay tuned we'll be right back try your best but you don't succeed when you get what you want but not what you need when you feel so tired are you stuck in unhealthy habits toxic relationships or low self-esteem do you crave a life of inspiration love self-acceptance and fun sounds like you're on the verge on the verge to your next big thing join laura richer host of on the verge radio helping you use your breakdown for a breakthrough overcome life's greatest challenges and live the life you want and deserve 
Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio or visit seattlehealinghypnosis.com for more information. Tune in each month to Synergenetic Living Radio where Rick and Grace Paris discuss the synergenetic way of life, what it means to truly change your perspective in life, what it means to take control of your life and manifest your true desires. For more information on Rick and Grace Paris and Synergenetic Living, check out SynergeneticLiving.com. Get clear on the life you desire and the current life you are creating and what is between the two. Synergenetic Living, living life loud. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens with Colette Marie Steffen is excited to welcome Karen Benton as a monthly guest host. Tune in on the third Wednesday of each month at 8 a.m. Pacific time to regain confidence and trust in your capacity to create change in your life, your health, your family, and your well-being. Karen Benton is a mother, nurse practitioner, certified body talk practitioner, Franklin Method instructor, and owner of Limitless Living, LLC. For more information about Karen, visit karenbenton.com. Known for his keen sense of humor, contagious smile, and extensive esoteric wisdom, EJ translates deep spiritual wisdom into practical advice to empower you to live your happiest, most fulfilled experience. Mystic Living Radio, deep spiritual wisdom, practical advice with EJ, Eliyahu Jihan. This hit show delivers profound experiences for all who want to live life to their deepest desires. Tune in monthly for Mystic Living Radio. Learn more by visiting vitaltransformation.org. Do you want to heal your body and mind? Your body has a lot to tell you if you just learn to listen to your intuition. Audrey Michelle, host of Rewired Life Radio, can help you peel away the layers that are holding you back from living your best life. Tune in to Rewired Life Radio. Learn to love, heal, celebrate on Transformation Talk Radio every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Connect with Audrey at AudreyMichelle.com. And the tears come streaming down your face When you lose something you can't replace Oh my god, is that Coldplay? Yes, ma'am, it is. Yeah, fix you. Mm -hmm. Yay! Thank you, Benny. Um, Hey, everybody, listen. You think maybe we do this show and we don't listen to what you all want more of. That is absolutely not true. As a matter of fact, about two years ago when the survey came out, and I think it's getting ready to come out again, we're totally not even prepared for it. Um, But you all said, this is what you want. You wanted a network that was going to do this, 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 and this. We are very close to giving you that network. Unique channels, psychic talk, God talk. But today, we don't have to wait for that network to be technologically finished. We've already started. We're on a mission. Kathleen Johnson, on a mission. Universe Soul Heart Radio. But more importantly, for those of you, my Pennsylvania friends, who are always saying, we do not know what's going on in Pennsylvania. Hello, wait a minute. Look no more. Please take a minute, Kathleen. Tell folks about some of the personal, upfront, face-to-face things you're doing. And then we're going to talk about how Reiki works beyond that. Okay personal upfront services that I offer. Uh, Currently, I'm offering private Reiki sessions. I also offer Reiki sessions for animals, for couples, and in distant distant sessions, which of course aren't upfront and personal, but they they are incredibly effective. And I teach Reiki classes, the Holy Fire 2 system. I have a master class coming up next month. So I teach Reiki classes. I also teach Reiki classes for children, which is amazing and so affirming. I just love teaching Reiki to children. They are so open and intuitive. And okay, I'm going off. I, <laughs> no, I, it's, no. It's just Let, awesome. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it because you're right. Children are open. Are open. You know what? If you want to go a little mainstream, all we need to do is anybody that watched America's Got Talent. I don't know if Benny can pull up any of those clips. America's Got Talent, blown away by these kids. Yeah. Why not teach them, Kathleen? Absolutely. Why not? I think if 
the children begin to learn Reiki, our world will see a huge, huge shift. And because Reiki is all about love, it's all about caring and acceptance, it's unconditional caring and acceptance, which is the, uh, the motto or the slogan for my practice. So teaching children Reiki has been and continues to be one of the high points of my, mes- my mission, and I am grateful for every opportunity I, I have to do that. Okay. So in, a- in addition to teaching Reiki, yeah. Uh, yeah. I also conduct past life regression therapy with clients mm-hmm. who wish to explore past lives to gain insight about their current incarnation and perhaps receive some information as to how they can enhance and optimize this current incarnation and open themselves up more to being who they truly are, which is a spiritual being having a human experience. And I absolutely love doing the regression work as well. It is always a, uh, let's see, it becomes the unexpected is the expected. You Mm -hmm. just never know what's going to happen. Spirit guides the content, Mm -hmm. so you just never know where it's going to take you. It's always an interesting ride. Uh, I, I also, love it. Oh, it's great. It's 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 just always the people mm-hmm. with whom I've had the pleasure to work are just like, wow, did that just happen? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, and you know did. what? We obviously are talking about something important. We've got one of our fabulous listeners waiting to come on. <clears throat> Al is waiting to come on, Benny, right? Al is, yeah. He's driving around Olympia area. You'd like to chime in. Al. Oh, yes. Thank you for taking my call. Well, this is my first time listening to your show. I, I usually hooked on Sirius Radio, but I got a bad signal. But what sparked my attention was a tragedy, as your guest said, and that's what happened to me. Uh, 2012, I, I fell in my back putting snow chains on my truck. I broke a rib, and I was at home later. Uh, my sciatic nerve came back up. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't stand up. I, I was, I, it was terrible. And then I saw the movie The Secret. And then yes. from there, well, <laughs> yes, from there, the law of everything. I, I mean, it just woke me up. I've since then probably about 50 books between then and now. But um, I was your typical truck, truck driver. I was uh, 70 pounds overweight. I was on medications for 10 years, uh, over 10 years, triglycerides, um, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, prostate. And so since then, long story short, I lost 65 pounds. My doctor couldn't believe that. I tell him, yeah, my eggs swim in lard <laughs> because I got on a high-fat, <laughs> low-carb diet. You know? and so I started Conscious Awakening. It's led me to nutrition and then, you know, uh, health. Awakening. And recently I came back to uh, spiritual because I grew up mm-hmm. Catholic and I just, you know, kept the, uh, I just followed the drinking part. That's about it. <laughs> now I'm really <laughs> w- working on, uh, you know, getting back in, in touch with God. But I was going to say um, one of the things how you mentioned about the health care system and, and everybody's so sick, but if you listen to the USDA and their nutritional guidelines, it'll make a healthy person sick. I, yeah. Would you agree with that? I mean, it's yeah. uh, all the cards. I, I actually and... will agree with you on that. Um, and not only am I going to agree with you on that, I've got a special gift for you. And I want to make sure you give Benny your information. You know what I would love to do, Al? Kathleen is uh, has offered to pay it forward. We have a pay it forward program here on Transformation Talk Radio. That's actually what you're listening to. And I want you to hold on because Kathleen is giving away a distance Reiki healing, and I would love for you to have that. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate You're that. Awesome. I, Kathleen, I'm excited. T- tell <laughs> out what that's about, if you will. Okay. I have you ever had any experience with Reiki, Al? Was, was that breaking out? What, Reiki. Reiki. Have Reiki. you ever had anybody do a distance healing Reiki session with you? Uh. Probably I don't not. Know if it was probably that, no, not. I don't. Yeah. Well, I think we, you'd remember. We, we're so going to help you not. out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Kathleen, tell, tell Al how it's going to work. And then Benny, um, don't hang up, Al, because we need to get some information from you, okay? Yes. Yeah, right, don't hang up. Kathleen. Okay. A distant Reiki session is conducted much the same as an in-person Reiki session. However, it is done from a distance, hence the name. Reiki is universal life energy, which is channeled by the practitioner for healing purposes. And because it's energy, it is not constrained by time or space. 
therefore a Reiki practitioner is able to send or transmit energy, the Reiki energy, across any time, any space. It, it doesn't matter if you're in front of me or across the globe. It really does not matter. So a distance session, the way I conduct them, and I actually do quite a few of them these days because people are finding that they are amazingly effective, and you don't have to live in Pennsylvania to have one right. um, with me. I mean, of course, there are Reiki practitioners everywhere. However, so what's going to happen, Al, if you are willing and interested to try this, I will be in touch with you. I will give you a phone call, and we'll set up a perfect time for this to happen at a time when you can feel relaxed or when you think you would be most open to receiving the energy, a time that works for you and that works with each one of our schedules. At the appointed time, I will conduct the session, and then afterwards, I will contact you either by phone, uh, if that works for you. We can do that at the time, or we can do it later, whatever works. And I will also send a fairly detailed report by email describing my experiences during the session, any information I may wow. have received on your behalf. And I usually... Um, uh, have crystals work with me in a Reiki session as well. So frequently I will take a photo of the crystals I used and include that in the report with the uh, description of the attributes and the properties of that crystal. Uh, they, had, they really do an amazing job of creating a synergistic healing experience when combined with Reiki. So I would like for mm. you to have the opportunity to experience that. Wow. Um, how does that sound? Al, what do you think? <laughs> Oh, man, that's great. I'm really tuning into the stuff I do believe, like the Tesla idea, right? He was going to give free electricity every bit to a, uh, a frequency, right? We were yes. Gonna get, and, now, and now Apple is doing that with their new phone. And yes. well, wow, look at this here, the crystal thing. I love that because my daughter is going to college and, and art is her major, and she's making jewelry and rings with a lot of stones and crystals. Wow, and sure. So, Wow. So that means there are, um, I believe there are no coincidences that I make this call. <laughs> there are none. And you right. know what? There are no coincidences. I come from a truck driving family. My dad <laughs> uh, was big uh, truck, big, those big tractor trailer truck driving, drove trucks for hunts. And uh, I totally get what it's like to be in the cab of that vehicle. And I will tell you that, boy, I. Uh, you are a, certainly a better man than I am, and we've got a special <laughs> gift for you. So, Al, can you do me a favor and don't hang up? So, Benny's going to get your phone number, your email, best way to contact you, and best time. And then we will get you connected with Kathleen. Thank you so much because what you did today, Al, is you have shared a story that you don't know this is touching the lives of thousands of people live Right. And then tens of thousands in all of our replays. So thank you, Al. Please don't hang up, okay? Okay, then. Just want to add one thing for those yeah. people, because I, I do want to do this. This basically not necessarily for me, for people. For example, uh, I have a sister and a brother in law, both with uh, diabetes and insulin. They're both disabled. But I tell them they're at home, and a lot of people are out there like this. One of the things they, they have is the precious, most precious commodity in the world, which is time. Yeah. If they have time, you know, so many things to be looked at. You know, you're, you're, I'm going to get your website and everything. They could look at the website and they could, you know, see videos and, and listen yeah. to audio and they have the time. I'm a trucker. I'm gone two to three weeks at a time. And I found I made the time, you know, thanks to the secret was, oh, they quit saying I don't have the time. Start delete those words that I can't and uh, say the words I will. I will make the time. And then eventually it's the law of attraction. You will get it. And I have been able to transform my life uh, to, for the better. And er everywhere around, even my relationship with my wife of 30 years yeah. has improved. So I just want to tell this for people out there that are at home sick, you have the, one of the best commodities in the world, which is time. Yeah. You, can, you can educate yourself. Yeah. Thank and you that. can go to, by the way, Al, you can go to Transformation Talk Radio and download our phone app. Because you, we have like 16 different ways that you can listen right through your phone and you can listen live on the phone and you're right. And the other thing is after you work with Kathleen, you may want to send your sister 
her way. <laughs> so please don't hang up. Let Benny get that information. And we're going to take a ve- – well, actually, we're not going to take a short break, Benny. Uh, let's just keep going here because, wow, what a great gift. Kathleen, you know, he- here's what I love about this. We have the best listeners on the planet. Yes, you do. I, I'm very we impressed. Do. <laughs> and, awesome. And, you know, you know, you heard it from Al. And that is an eagerness to learn, to right. grow, to be the best that we can be. Exactly. Isn't that what the spiritual journey, isn't that what your work has been about? I mean, it's, there's no mistake. We're calling it universe soul. So tell us about this pathway to wellness. The pathway to wellness. Well, I, you, you just about said it and I, believe that our journey is all about us becoming the best and doing the what we came to be and what we came to do, what we came to be and what we came to do, which of course are two different things. Uh, it doesn't matter where we are in life. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, kings, paupers, princes, janitors, whatever, truck drivers, uh, Reiki masters, it doesn't matter. We are all on our own personal spiritual journey. And the path to wellness, I have learned, is simply our, us opening up to the truth that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And once we start to open up to that knowledge... That is when the synchronicities come into play and when the universe will start to send the messages that we are now open to and aware of and awake to. That's the, that is the key right there because the universe is always, always, always sending us messages to keep us on our path to wellness. The problem lies in whether or not we are open to those messages. When we are not, they fall on deaf ears, so to speak. But once we come to the conclusion that, yes, we are spiritual beings having that time on Earth, then the shift starts to happen. And the path to wellness, more often than not, begins to open up. But we do have to open ourselves to the fact that we are multidimensional beings. We are not just our physical selves. Our physical selves are a tiny fraction. They represent a tiny part of who and what we are, which are, we are, each one of us is a spark of the divine. Every which one of us is a child of the universe. And when we start to acknowledge that, embrace it, and accept it, that is when it starts to shift. So what I like to do with the people I work with is to have them come to that understanding. And, of course, it's, everyone arrives at this point at their own time. And as I said earlier, I don't presume to know anyone's path. However, the person who comes to me is more often than not looking for answers, looking for something. They wouldn't show up in my healing space or call me on the phone if they were not. So they are searching for something. And they are likely open to whatever the journey is all about. And so then I have the opportunity to show them that, yes, Mm -hmm. this is who you are. This is who you are authentically. You are a spiritual being. You are a child of the universe. And as such, you can do whatever it is you came to do. You can be whatever it is you came to be. The The path to wellness lies in uncovering what those things are. And when we are on the right path, when we are on the path that is meant for us, when we are on our personal journey and on that path, the the possibilities are limitless. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want to say about this. When we move from probabilities to possibilities, we heal. And I want to just talk about this a minute because um, I love what Al said. If I would have followed the standard, I don't know what is it, the instructions, the principles, 
menu, if I would have followed, followed that, I, uh, I, it, it wouldn't have worked for me Correct. because health is not a one size fits all. Right. You know, for example, I am not really good at eating anything white except mm-hmm. cauliflower. And, <laughs> and I don't even think that's white, white. But I don't do well with that. I don't do well with bread. I don't do well with rice. I, it just doesn't work for my system. I'm also one of these people. I don't do well with anything that's a bean, right? I love beans, but I don't do well. And so what do I mean by not do well? What I mean by that is, yeah, I can eat them and I'm not going to be bedridden. But how do I feel? And I think this is what we're talking about is not just healing the body, but healing all aspects. And don't you even talk about the soul? Absolutely. I mean, um, I, uh, the healing the body, I feel, is that's, that's for medical science. They, I, don't, I don't ever make any claims to be a substitute for medicine. Absolutely not. What I like to do is address the holistic being. And mm-hmm. we have so many facets to our existence. We are physical beings. We, have, we are emotional beings. We are mental beings, and we are spiritual beings, all of those mm-hmm. things, always happening at the same time. And all of those levels of the individual need to be addressed, and, yeah. and healing needs to take place on all levels in order for wellness to begin. Mm. It's not just, well, let me fix that that bad knee, which I had to have done in June, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, but it's not just that. It's not taking parts of the person and trying to, quote, unquote, fix that person. It's about addressing the entire person as a holistic being, as a child of the universe and saying, yes, you matter. You are here for a reason. Let's find out what that reason is together. Mm. Um, what do you think? Um, I know we only have a few minutes left. What do you think the message is that we want to share today? And also the message for people to say, yes, I can take action on my own behalf. And, and, and what, what is that message beyond anything we've said today? What is that message that got you to move in the right direction for me, me to move, Al to move? What, it, what is that universal message we're sharing today? Well, for me, the message, the message came in uh, dribs and drabs over, over a period of time. Uh, from, you know, it was the, uh, the diagnosis of illness. And, but what I think is really important is to remain aware of who we truly are. And that is not just, um, you know, John Smith and Peoria who, uh, you know, works in an office. No, yeah. that's, that's a very small fraction of who John Smith really is. We need to open ourselves up to the reality that we are so much more than can be per- perceived in our 3D world. And once we do that, it's amazingly liberating because we now realize, wow, it, the possibilities are truly endless, and you said it earlier, when we get away from probabilities and move into possibilities, it shifts. It shifts everything. Wow. So the message, I guess I would say, is start to think of yourself in terms of that spiritual being having a human experience, not the other way around, mm. and see where that lands with you, and see what kind of thought that promotes and provokes and, and brings up any insights, any information, just see where that takes you and allow it to take you where it will. Because when you start to accept that as reality, true reality, not 3D reality, that's when it all begins to open. And it is a, it's an amazing experience. Mm-hmm. Not to say it's always pleasant, but it is amazing and so <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Healing and, can be very hard work, as you know, Pat. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. But, you know, it's harder if you do it alone. Absolutely. And that's what I learned. See, my takeaway here for healing was I thought I had to do it alone. What I discovered is I can work with Kathleen Johnson. I can work with you. 
I can work with people to help me in places that I don't even have a clue about. But you said it earlier, and I want to stay with it, being open. And that's what your radio show is about. This is what you're going to be bringing to the airwaves, isn't it? Yes, yes. I think people just need to hear that there are alternate ways to pursue wellness. Uh, There are ways that they may never even heard of. And if I can provide some information to someone somewhere that helps Mm -hmm. them, oh, it's so worth it to me. Well, how can people contact you? Yeah, please. How can people get a hold of you? How can they schedule their time with you? All of the above. Well, you mentioned my website at first, universalheart.net. My telephone number is 570-285-4757. Uh, my email is prominently displayed on my website. It's kjohnson at universalheart.net. Um, I'm, I'm on Facebook. I'm on all the yep. uh, social media sites. Yep. So Good. I'm very easy to find. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so. and, we're very, and we're helping all of you find Kathleen. Kathleen, thank you for a great show today. Amazing. We are not done yet, but I'll tell you what, you're going to hear a lot from Kathleen. We're going to take a short break, everybody. Oh, we're just warming up. We'll be right back. The preceding audio was via a Skype call. 